previously on One Piece Summary. Inspired by Gold Roger, thousands of men set sail in order to find One Piece. Luffy, after meeting the pirate Shanks, decides he wants to become the Pirate King and at the age of 17 sets sail. After defeating the pirate Alvida, Luffy heads with Kobe to Shelltown, where the pirate hunter Roronoro Zoro is. With the help of Zoro, Luffy defeats Captain Morgan, freeing the town from his tyranny. Kobe joins the marines, and Luffy and Zoro continue their adventure. Due to the fact that neither Zoro or Luffy have any sense of direction, they are lost and starving. Luffy spots a bird and uses his Gomu Gomu no rocket to catch it so they can hit it. But the bird turns out to be giant and Luffy becomes his prey, as it flies off in the bird's mouth. Zoro rows after his captain but comes across three pirates struggling in the ocean. They jump onto Zoro's boat and try to steal it. They get beaten up and apologize, recognizing the pirate hunter, and they explain to him how they ended up like that. Mini flashback time. The pirates were returning from successfully plundering a ship when they come across a small boat drifting in the ocean with a female passenger on board. She traded her treasure chest for some food and water. The pirates decided to check the chest first, but they were tricked by the girl that stole their boat and what they have plundered. She warns them that a storm is coming and leaves. A sudden maelstrom appeared and sunk the small boat along with the pirates. Back in the present, the three pirates wonder how they'll get revenge and what their captain Buggy will do to them if they come empty-handed. In the small town named Orange Town, a pirate ship is docked nearby. One of the pirates in the ship sees a bird in the sky, alerting the captain, who orders him to shoot it down. In the town, that girl from before is running from three pirates, who are telling her to return the Grand Line map that she stole. An explosion alerts the four and something crashes in the middle of them. It's Luffy. The girl suddenly calls Luffy boss, asking him to take care of the pirate. They crowned around Luffy and one of them knocks his straw hat of his head. Luffy, angered by that, easily defeats the tree. The girl, impressed, introduces herself as Nami, a thief who only steals from pirates. Nami proposes a partnership with Luffy, but Luffy says he's not interested. She then asks him why was he so mad when his hat flew off, to what he answers that the hat is his treasure. After knowing Luffy is a pirate, Nami also loses interest in forming a partnership and plans on using him to get Buggy's treasure. Nami tricks Luffy and ties him up, and gives him to Buggy, who locks him in a cage. Nami pretends to join Buggy's crew, which works, but Buggy wants her to kill Luffy to prove her loyalty. Nami's conscience gets the best of her and she tries to save him. Luckily, Zoro shows up and cuts Buggy into pieces quite easily. However, when Zoro turns around, Buggy, detached from his body, stabs Zoro in the guts. Buggy ate the Bada Bada no Mi, or the Chop Chop fruit, which gives him the power to detach his body parts and separate them into sections, making him invulnerable against sharp objects. But Luffy, Zoro and Nami manage to escape by firing Buggy's special cannon at him and his crew. Escaping into the empty town, the three come across a dog called Shushu and the town's mayor, Boodle. The mayor told the three that Shushu has guarded his owner's pet shop since his owner died. The talk is interrupted by Buggy's first mate, Moji, and his pet lion, Richie. Since Zoro is recovering from his wounds in the mayor's house, and Nami and Boodle run away, Luffy is now alone in his cage. Richie breaks the cage, sending Luffy flying. The lion then turns his attentions towards the pet shop. Shushu tries to defend it the best he can, but he's no match against a lion. While Shushu fights the lion, he remembers the good memories he had with his owner and that same pet shop he is desperately trying to protect. Luffy survived the impact because he's made of rubber, and when he comes back, he sees the pet shop burning and the dog barking in pain. Luffy, angered after seeing the dogs and his owner's treasure destroyed, confronts Moji and Richi and easily defeats them, punching the lion and gives the last box from the pet shop to Shushu. Oh, it's... 
あのライオンと戦ってきたんだあの犬のためによく戦ったなお前見ちゃいねえけど大体わかるあっお前も頑張れよ The town's mayor, inspired by Luffy, decides to confront Buggy, but he is no match for Buggy and is almost killed by Buggy's power. That's when Luffy, Zoro, and Nami arrive to save him. Luffy knocks the mayor out to make sure he doesn't hurt himself. Kabaji, Buggy's second mate and swordsman, faces Zoro, but despite Zoro's wounds, he is able to defeat Kabaji. And while Nami sneaks into Buggy's boat, Luffy decides to fight him. During the fight, Buggy reveals that he was at the same crew as Shanks when they were kids. Flashback time. The crew that Shanks and Buggy were part of found a devil fruit and after knowing how precious the devil fruit was and how worth it was in bellies, Buggy comes up with a plan. He pretends that he wants to eat the fruit and gain the powers, but Instead, he creates a devil fruit similar to the one that he was supposed to eat and keeps the real one with him so he can sell it later. After tricking the pirate crew that he was part of, he goes to a boat where the real fruit is hidden. In that boat, he also has a treasure map that he found in their last plunder. That's when Shanks arrives and asks Buggy what he's doing. Scared, Buggy puts the real fruit in his mouth and pretends that nothing is going on. Shanks leaves, but comes back once again. Caught out of guard, Buggy now swallows the real fruit and lets his map go and fall into the sea. And so, because of Shanks, Buggy can no longer swim and he has lost the treasure map. Back into the present, Buggy goes after Nami when he sees she's stealing their treasure, but Luffy saves her. As the fight goes on, and as Buggy separates his body parts, Nami steals some of them, showing her abilities as a thief. As she steals the parts, she ties the stolen parts together, and so Buggy is now left with only his hands, feet and head, leaving him vulnerable for Luffy's attack, who sends Buggy flying with a Gomu Gomu no Bazooka. <laughs> Nami then agrees to become Luffy's partner and hands over the map to the Grand Line. The townspeople that were away in a safe place because of the buggy pirates decide to check on the town's mayor. Upon finding the mayor knocked out, they ask the three what's going on. Luffy calmly replies that the three are pirates and that he was the one who knocked the mayor out. The townspeople, angered and tired of the pirates' oppression, go after the three, but Shushu helps them get away. Buru wakes up and goes after the three to thank them and explain the situation to the townspeople. As the three sail off, Nami notices Luffy left one of her treasure bags behind worth 500,000 valleys on purpose to help the people from Orange Town rebuild their houses. Nami then tells Luffy to never do that again and the three sail off on two small boats to continue their journey. And that was our two of One Piece. Thanks you guys so much for the support you've shown so far. The first episode was crazy. Like the amount of views, thank you very much. And if possible, leave a like and subscribe to keep up with this series. And comment your question for the SBS if you have any doubt. Once again, comment. I will answer them and go through them in the SBS with my friend Dave Gull. And let's go to the next episode preview. Our three friends are now looking for a proper boat and go to Syrup Village where they meet the great Captain Usopp and a threat that makes Usopp join the crew to defeat it. Next episode, Syrup Village Arc. <laughs>